ribbon cutting ceremony was held at U.S. Naval Computer and Telecommunications Station, or NCTS, located in Dededo to celebrate the grand reopening of its gymnasium October 10th. Military members and civilians gathered in anticipation as morale, welfare, and recreation staff opened its doors after the facility previously closed down. So the gym closed in 2012 due to funding constraints and sequestration. Uh, we had to consolidate down to one gym across the entire Naval Base Guam Enterprise. Um, for the last five years, this gym has been occupied by the Marines, just using it as their own individual command gym. Uh, we've been trying to get additional funding allocated. Uh, through Captain Grimes' leadership, we were able to push uh, CNIC to get us additional resources available to support the increased amount of personnel up here at NCTS to reopen the gym today. The base is currently home stationed to hundreds of active duty Marines, sailors, airmen, and soldiers, but will host thousands more as the military buildup continues over the next several years. U.S. Army Chief Warrant Officer Carl Ogle from Napa, California, has been stationed here since May 2017 and has been waiting on this day to come. I think this gym opening is going to play an integral part of the unit's morale due to its, its convenient locations here where we work. It'll be easier for um, the leaders within the organization to um, come together and have organized physical fitness. Um, now we don't have to factor in the 30 minute commute back to Anderson. And it'll also give soldiers the ability to uh, come here, get ready in the mornings, and then you know, get to work on time without factoring in all the driving. Prior to the opening of the NCTS gym, units wishing to host physical training sessions on the installation were limited to group runs or simple routines which didn't require using gym accessories. Service members would also have to commute home to conduct personal hygiene afterwards, ultimately cutting into valuable training time. The gym has the same standard equipment you would find at Anderson Air Force Base or Naval Base Guam, as well as lockers, shower facilities, and a sauna, but will operate on limited hours pending public response. After a cake cutting was held, guests were invited to tour the facility and MWR staff demonstrated the proper use of modern workout accessories to guests interested in learning new techniques. The gym is the first step in increasing MWR activities across Naval Base Guam NCTS. Uh, we'll be looking at increasing hours eventually depending on patronage and demand signal. Um, we'll also be increasing uh, the classes that we offer up here. Uh, adding monthly MWR special events, and then looking outside of the gym uh, to the other areas around it, the softball fields, the tennis courts, the parks, on how we can beautify them, clean them up, and get them um, up to MWR standards. Some visitors wasted no time in jumping onto treadmills and lifting weights during their lunch hour. To the people that made this happen, uh, we want to say thanks. It's something that we've been asking for for a long time, and I know it's been talked about, but now that it's here and it's actually happening, um, I'm excited to, to use it. NCTS gym hours of operation are Monday through Friday between 0500 and 1400. Reporting for U.S. Naval Base Guam, I'm Jeanette Bocanegra.